uh, BBC license oh, fee. We just covered we this story yesterday. Uh, Lucy Fraser, the culture secretary, uh, basically uh, went on to Times Radio yesterday and said that the £15 or the proposed £15 hike was high. Uh, let's uh, have a look at Lucy. No, we don't have her. Oh, do we not? We do not have her. No, no, well, no, no, no. The voices in my me. head just told me that. Well, why don't that you, you were tell chatting. me? They were, but you were yeah. talking, so they told me instead. Yeah, well, That's I, fine. I can hear as well, Jumped you know. in there for Anyway, you. we don't have her for some extraordinary reason, but uh, Rishi Sunak yesterday said that uh, the government would look to block this rise. If it goes up, it's going to go up from £159 to £173.30, so about 15 quid. That is the highest hike on the BBC licence fee for 40 years. And uh, Lucy Fraser is indicating, she's saying, well, obviously that's high. This is something we're looking at at the moment and we'll be making a decision on this in due course. Lucy, just don't let them do it. It's I don't know fair. why, you know, they don't just say to the BBC, look, Quite frankly, you've got way too many channels, way too many. Nobody needs every single type of music to have its own radio station. Nobody needs every type of accent and culture to have its own radio station. Nobody needs to be paying Gary Lineker a seven-figure salary. Nobody needs to be having Strictly Come Dancing, a programme which could frankly be done in 15 minutes in Blackpool, costing it is. millions it of pounds. It is. It's not done for 15 minutes it in Blackpool. It goes to Blackpool, yeah, but it's, it's the not, big thing. They just keep it there. For the first half of every uh, Strictly yeah, uh, series, I know that, they but all keep go, it there. they all go... I'm really excited. I really want to get to Blackpool. Oh, I've got to get to Blackpool. Yeah, yeah, I made it to Blackpool again. What's the big deal about Blackpool? Yeah, it's but it'd be cheaper. Just keep it there, it's right? It's got you some know, ballroom. Regionalise the BBC. <laughs> keep it in Blackpool and cut it down to half an hour show. You don't need it strictly come dancing. Right. It takes in two my... extra chit-chat. Well, in, my just... I... in my ideal world, uh, you'd cut it down to nothing. Yeah, I well, hate I strictly come yeah, dancing. So but to be fair, millions of people love it. And uh, I wouldn't uh, knock, uh, I'm, you know, if a, a, a TV channel is uh, churning out programs that are very popular, then I'm all for it. It's churning out programs that aren't popular that bother me, which is mainly what the BBC specialise in. And uh, in terms of this rise on the BBC licence fee, I think what we'd really like to see, if this was a sensible nation that realised it was 2023 and not 1923, we would axe the anachronistic TV licence fee altogether, wouldn't we? Yeah, I think we probably would. Ah, I'm in half and half about yeah, this. No, no, I no. Think one in, oh, we're allowed to disagree sometimes. No, no, yeah, no, you know, no, Diversity no, 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 of it. opinion is what this channel is all about. You've got to pay for... You, if you, look, we, yes, we can disagree. But if you want <laughs> to if you want to pay uh, a TV licence fee, you'll have to pay for Strictly Come Dancing. That is well, the essence of the absurdity. Uh, now, I've you got, have to pay, I've got a concept. If you don't pay for Strictly Come Dancing, uh, you go to prison. It's ridiculous. All I would say is no tax without democracy, right? No taxation without representation. So if you're going going to keep the licence fee, no, then BBC viewers themselves should be allowed to decide what they pay for and what they broadcast. Yeah, well, no, 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 but we, look, we should be like other sensible or sensible countries where you don't pay for television entertainment. It's a ridiculous anachronism. Uh, makes us look weird all over the world, if you ask me.